Okay. Yo, what up, guys? Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna s focus on something slightly simple. So we haven't yet created our success um, activity yet. So I think I should focus on that and just do something a little slightly uh, simple. Uh, the past few videos have been quite long, and I'm quite disappointed that they had to be that long. So I just wanted to create something short before we start creating the create notes uh, activity. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here within the um, and just create a new activity. So uh, this is gonna be an empty activity, and then this one I'm gonna name it success. Um, okay, looks like we already have one. Oh yeah, my apologies. Looks like we already have one. All right, so um, the first thing I need to go to is the activity. I mean, sorry, the layout file of the success activity. Now, um, this one is fairly simple. So the only thing we're gonna need is a message and a button. Um, the button itself, let me just pull it up quickly. The button itself is just gonna either return to the login page or the or the main activity page. So um, we're gonna change this layout to linear layout. And then let's see, padding will be 15 dp. And let's see, and then gravity is going to be center. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need here is the image. So this is going to be about uh, 350 dp and then the height is going to be about 300 dp. Source is going to be at then we're going to go for the success image which is that one there. I think we're done and then here size is going to be 35 SP. Um, apologies, I actually forgot to set the orientation, which is going to be vertical. Okay. All right, and then let's see. You know, the elevation part doesn't necessarily matter, but I'm going to try and add it. Sorry, I'm actually adding it on the wrong thing. All right, that's it for the text. Now we're gonna add the button. So,
So I need to give this an ID. should be fine okay so all right let's go back to the success activity so there's a couple of things we need to add in here so firstly shared preferences again then we're going to add a boolean value I don't want this to have a uh, action bar at the top, so I'm going to add that as well. Right, so here we're going to check and see if the user is authenticated. So here's the thing. Um, what I want to do here is that um, I want it so that when the, when the user, we can use this very same uh, view on the registration page when we get to that part, where after the user has registered, we're going to show the exact same um, success page or success activity. And then here we will check and see if the user is authenticated. If the user is authenticated, it will just redirect them back to the main activity. If they're not, uh, 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 what you call it, authenticated, it will just send them back to, to the login page. All right, so here we're gonna create an if statement, but then before we complete it, we need to create two more, um, what you call it, um, methods.
and then this will go to the main activity just gonna copy this and then this will just be login activity and then okay so here we're gonna check and see if the user is authenticated if not if the user is authenticated uh, return to home right so like I said when they click this button return to home it will check and see if this user is authenticated if not it will send them back to the home screen so I think that's pretty much it for the success page we're gonna use this again when we go back to the registration part where after the user registers and they've successfully registered it will show this activity and then when you click here because it's on a registration part it will send them back to the login otherwise if they are authenticated it will send them to the to the main activity so basically we're going to use this as well when we create the node when we create the node it will show this and then re redirect the user to their respective pages Alright, so this was pretty much it for this video. Again, I didn't want it to be too long, so um, at least we're done with this part. In the next page, or in the next video, we should be looking at creating notes. Again, guys, thanks again for watching, and cheers for now.